So we're gonna paint this, uh, I would say landscape, a small sailboat on the river with the mountains in the background. So let's think about how we are gonna plan it. You don't have to do exactly everything they offer you. You just pick something that you wanna pick. This is, would be my whole page. I'm gonna do it with my full page. And by the way, the paper I use is Arches watercolor block. Okay, I wanna see a wet water line. I'm gonna draw the water line probably here. This mountain's a little bit lower, even lower than that. I'm gonna move this, uh, the line up at uh, the intersection here a little bit to the right. So I don't wanna have all the mountains to be the same height because you in full control uh, and you're responsible for everything you're doing in this painting. Uh, the first brush I use is the flat brush. And I'm going to starting from wet to a little less wet and to dry. So I'm going to just put a glaze, a bit of water into here. But for sure, I'm going to leave the space for the sail to be dry. I'm gonna not gonna wet it because in this case, in this case, there's no color is gonna go into the sail. Okay, so I'm gonna and the and the paper can dry really fast. So good. And I'm going to do the same thing for the lower part. As you see, I'm not putting lots of lots of water. I just prepare the surface a little bit wet. And I'm gonna start from the top, uh, from the distance. And it may not come up with the shape that I planted, but it will be fine. Who knows what the mountain shape will look like, right? So I'm gonna have a little blue color. And farther away, the mountains will look cooler and closer to the sky color. Uh, as we know, sky color mostly is blue colors. That's why it's, it, actually the mountain in the far distance have a little bluish, a little bit more bluish. And the color closer and closer, warmer and warmer. And with this, you get to in the green, yellow, and red, and other details that you can see. And I may not really want to have the really bright, uh, intense uh, blue color. So I'm gonna add a little bit uh, brown color into here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna just set in the shape over here. You know the, uh, the paper is wet. Was this good? I'm gonna let it blur. That will be fine because that will look like in the distance. And I go into this one. I'm gonna add the color, maybe a little bit darker because this mountain is a little bit closer than the other one. And then get a little bit darker color, a little bit brighter blue. And for here, a little bit darker too. As you see, I started from this mountain, which is really far away, and then getting uh, gradually going to the right side. You know that the paper actually already started drying out. So from here to here, it has like say a minute uh, difference. And this actually have a little dry, a minute of drying time more than that. So you see that is the, the effect will be a little bit different. So the planning is quite important as for the look of the application of the color, right? I'm gonna, and now I'm gonna come into the left side which is closer, uh, the mountain is closer to the viewer. I'm gonna add a little bit more red on the color, maybe too much red. Okay, good. A little bit darker. And 
a bit more blue. So as you see, uh, if you print it mentally, as you are painting down, planning wh where it should go first, what's go last, what we we'll, we'll do later, it actually really help uh, mm -hmm. create the space feeling. And this area is almost look dry. So I'm gonna just create a bit of texture on the side of the mountain, the skirt over here. And I wanna leave the space here for uh, the little sand beach later. So that's just good. Now this is the top that what I need to do on the mountain. I let it dry and come back to do the second layer later. Now at the same time, I'm gonna go in down to the water starting on from this mountain in the water refraction it very smooth transitions got a little bit red and maybe a little yellow a little bit more blue here we go we're gonna make this so let it smoother transition one is as wet, it's easy to do. And now the top is almost dry. Now what I'm gonna do now, I return back to that and with a round brush, I'm gonna use my number 12, rest stable round brush. I'm gonna do the uh, details to the middle ground uh, mountains, a little bit closer. So. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow first. Yellow is a little bit lighter color. And here we go. I'm gonna, that's good. That's a little good. Add a little bit water. Now, let's see. I'm gonna start, start from this mountain. Now you add the little details, which is also, you can say, add a little texture that make the objects closer to you. I will do the tree a little bit later. Now I'm going to switch to this one, uh, this mountain in the middle ground, but it should be a little bit far away from that, so I'm not going to use so much colorful, and just very light colors, very light. the big shape before we are doing smaller shape. Okay, and then I'm gonna also start putting the colors for the sail, and which is more red than the color, the brown color uh, on, the, on the boat. So I'm gonna put this color into this space. Let's see how it look like. Looks like I do need to make it a little bit darker and add a little brown color in this mixture. And as you see, I used one hand and uh, support the other hand. So I can have my hand a little bit more stable. And put a, a light brown colors. A little bit brown colors on the top here. Have a little uh, changes gradient. And also on this side, have the color into it too. 
uh, navy is too close to the color in the water, you can lift up a little bit and that's good. This painting is finished.